Welcome back to the Universe of Power. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome. Please like, comment, and subscribe for all things within the Power Universe. In the process of me finishing this video, it was just announced today that Power Book 3 Raising Canaan has officially been renewed for a fourth season. What this tells me is that A, this season might be the best so far. And B, there are definitely plans to bring Ghost and Tommy in the not-so-distant future. So for those of you that had doubts about Power Book 3 lasting 5 to 6 seasons, the chances are looking more likely than ever. Now back to the video. A few videos ago, I discussed how a young Tommy and Ghost would be introduced in Power Book 3 Raising Canaan. In today's video, I will discuss the direction that I think Power Book 3 will go in once Tommy and Ghost are introduced. Just so I'm clear for anyone that misunderstands, I am not saying Ghost and Tommy will be in Power Book 3 this season, I am speaking only to future seasons. Ever since the finale of the OG Power series, where we got a post credit scene of a young Tommy, Ghost, and Angela, the anticipation to see these characters in Power Book 3 Raising Kanan has been extremely high. I am almost 100% certain that once Ghost and Tommy are introduced, the ratings for Power Book 3 will go through the roof and take the show up another level. Now I know we probably won't see their characters get introduced this season, but depending on how this current season ends, I think we will know whether or not Ghost and Tommy will be in Season 4. So the question is what direction will Power Book 3 go in once Tommy and Ghost debut? Well, before I get into that, I have two other quick takes that didn't make my previous video that I would like to give a perfect scenario in which Ghost could be introduced in Power Book 3 as well as Tommy. Once the Thomas family's operation starts to crumble after Rock leaves the game for good, Uncle Marvin and Lou will need to find a new stash spot, and this is where Ghost's father Curtis St. Patrick, the bar owner who struggles with alcoholism, will come into play. It was mentioned a while back that Ghost's mother was a nurse who left him and his father behind. So I think while Ghost's father Curtis was struggling to make ends meet, I think he made a deal to use his bar as a stash house and a business where the Thomas family could wash their money. Keep in mind that Uncle Gabe told Ghost how he encouraged his father Curtis to avoid trouble with those bad kids and how it ultimately led to his downfall. I think maybe Kanan felt guilty after the death of Ghost's father and I think that this could be a main reason why he took Ghost and Tommy under his wing. But I also believe that it could be possible that Kanan meets Tommy first before coming across Ghost. The perfect scenario in which I could see Tommy being introduced would be in a situation where Kanan and Jukebox are pulling a heist around the corner from the strip club Tommy's mother Kate works at. Things take a turn for the worst and they end up shooting someone. From there, Kanan and Jukebox are on the run. Just before they are about to get caught by the feds, a young Tommy gets their attention and opens a side door of the strip club for them to hide in. After that moment, Kanan is grateful and impressed by Tommy's quick thinking. From there, Kanan and Tommy meet up a few days later and Tommy brings Ghost. At first, Kanan is not impressed with Ghost, but he gives them some work and watches as they move it in record time. He then makes them corner boys, and as they prove their loyalty, he introduces them to Breeze, and this is where a new era of the show will be ushered in. So with that being said, it raises the question of where would the direction of future seasons of Raising Kanan go after Ghost and Tommy are introduced? Well, I think it would start off with showing us Ghost and Tommy proving themselves to Kanan, Uncle Lou, and Marvin. I think Kanan will do everything to make sure that Ghost and Tommy are on point before introducing them to Breeze. Before Ghost grew into the person we all saw in the original Power series, Ghost was just Jamie, who I think was the book smart kid who had goals and dreams to get out of the hood and become a businessman like his father. However, he grew up in South Jamaica, Queens in the middle of an epidemic in the streets. His mother wasn't around, and he had a strained relationship with his alcoholic father who struggled to make ends meet. His best friend Tommy gets bullied for being one of the only white kids at school and has a mother with an addiction who also works as a stripper. And I think this is where Kanan and Breeze come in and recognize Ghost's level of intelligence, manipulates him, and starts to groom him into the street life. 
I think Ghost starts off as a lookout and then eventually moves on to selling product as a corner boy, robbing other hustlers on the streets. Also keep in mind, Ghost wanted to go away to college and join Angela, but he chose to stay behind and keep an eye out on Tommy. Ghost and Tommy in Power Book 3 could also show us what led to Jukebox envying Ghost. He said something about getting back at Ghosts. Not Ghosts. Ghost. I think the moment Kanan started becoming very close with Ghost and Tommy, Jukebox became really jealous and started to feel left out within their circle. I think this stayed with Jukebox all the way into adulthood. I also think that Breeze will start to take Ghost under his wing and start teaching him different ways to move in the streets. This could also lead to the start of Kanan becoming jealous of Ghost. I think Ghost most likely was always in shape even as a teenager and whenever the cops came on the scene he was probably always the first to disappear. Which is why Breeze probably gave him the nickname Ghost. I am curious to find out what Tommy's nickname was back in the day because it was never mentioned in the OG Power series. I also think we will see how Tommy became ruthless and gained his respect from Breeze. I think early on Breeze will not like Tommy at all and will see him as a liability until Tommy puts in serious work and gains Breeze's respect. One thing that I find could be very interesting would be the moment Ghost and Tasha first meet each other. For some reason, I think Tasha was also a completely different person until she met Ghost. It's good to see you, Kanan. Don't he look good? You haven't changed at all. Hey, you did. You were just a little kid when I went in. It looked like you filled out. In all the right places. <laughs> hey, man. My bad, G. I ain't been around a live woman in a while. It's very obvious that Kanan had some kind of feelings for Tasha back in the day, and I would like to see whether or not they had any involvement with each other before or during the time Tasha was with Ghost. The one thing that most likely caused Kanan to become envious of Ghost is the moment Ghost decided to branch off with Tommy and not include Kanan on any deals. I think Ghost started to realize that he didn't need Kanan anymore and he didn't want to continue to split the profit with Kanan and Breeze. Which is why Ghost took out Breeze and sent Kanan away to prison. Kanan started to see how Ghost was becoming more successful than him in the streets by using everything he taught him. And I think that really never sat well with him. Ghost started to save up his money that he was making in the streets and investing it in small businesses as it was told to us by Tasha in the OG series. This is most likely how Ghost was able to eventually open Club Truth. One thing is for sure. Whenever Ghost and Tommy finally do become a part of Power Book 3 Raising Kanan, we will see exactly how they grew into becoming the men they were in power. Do you see Ghost and Tommy becoming a major factor in Raising Kanan? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for all things within the Power Universe. See you all next time in the Universe of Power.